Well, to me, a golf course is simply art on the ground. You know, it's telling a story in a way. Probably my uh, creativity came from my mother's side, you know. She blended colors well and she liked art. I liked to sketch and she promoted that when I was younger. All of us are only limited by our imagination. When you're told that, you know, for five or six hundred years, this landscape had never been touched, that was a little frightful at first, you know, but Massimo said, Tom, just do your thing out here. Do you feel comfortable with your ideas? And I said, absolutely. And uh, I just gave him those thoughts. He said, if we stay with those ideas, we'll be just fine. That meant a lot to me, it gave me a lot of confidence. Well, the best ingredients that we had here was around the golf course, these long distance vistas. We had to play down certain valleys. We had to play on ridges. We had great green locations like 17 that on top of the hill with a negative edge to it. It has a great dimension of beauty behind it, the backdrop. You know, great changes of elevation here, dramatic changes of elevation, and we tried to utilize those features into the golf course to make some of the holes, you know, pretty dramatic. Well, for me, coming back, being seven years away from the last time I was here, you know, I had a tremendous curiosity, what's it gonna be like? Are the greens gonna be good? The greens are phenomenal. The attention to details in the, the way they treat the tees, the cross cut, the fairways, you know, everything is done like we're, we try to do in the United States. You know, it's a high level of maintenance. Well, I think the thing that makes uh, CDB so unique as a golf course, you know, it's timeless. You're never in a hurry. You know, you look forward to every moment here because it's so peaceful. It's just uh, one of the prettiest places, without a doubt, one of the most unique places I've ever been to by far.